I'm supposed to be from the ground. I'm just trying to get this done without your help. That's what that thing's for, is to do it from the ground. Well, that would make more sense, but it's kind of working. No, Look. it's not. What's going on, guys? I'm Danny with Lanier Lawn Care, and today we're going to go over the Toro Universal Gutter Cleaning Kit. Now, this is a very good kit, and we're going to get into why, but there's also some cons to some of this. So we're going to jump into this video. We're going to show you how this thing works and tell you all about these cons that you're probably going to want to know before purchasing this product. So stay tuned. All right, so what are you going to get in the box? Well, pretty simple. You're going to get your manual for your kit. We're going to talk about this a little later. Then you're going to get your uh, three different nozzles here. And these are, this one in particular is meant for the Toro leaf back system. So that's what this one's meant for. Then we've got these tubes. So we've got four of these uh, extension tubes. Now this will reach a max, they say of 11 foot from the ground. So probably that one story mark is where you're at. So if you've got a two story, well, this probably ain't gonna reach, but you could try, I guess. But uh, 11 foot meant for a one story. Then we've got our flex tube. We've got our uh, extension tubes. Uh, this is our gutter nozzle right here. And so this hooks to the end after all four of these are connected. And this is what actually goes in your gutter and you run it down to do that. And then of course we've got our little uh, strap. And then we've got actually a shoulder strap that comes with this as well that is hidden somewhere in my garage. Now, this is a universal kit, so it will work with most of your blowers, but we're gonna show you what your blower should look like because the Milwaukee blower, this will not work on. Um, the tube, even this smaller tube, will not fit on the end of that to where it will tighten and stay in place. So some of these blowers that you may have, this may or may not work on. So it tells you uh, the collar length and stuff of that on the website, on Home Depot, wherever you decide to order this kit from, it tells you how big these nozzles are and the adjustments that they pretty much have. So you can measure the end of your nozzle or pull your nozzle off uh, and see if it has the way that this should fit on there before you actually go and purchase it. The Toro user manual. Um, now I was looking at this, trying to figure things out, flipping through, I was like, okay, well, we've got different languages, but you really only have one page. And uh, although you can tell that the attempt was made, the instructions fall short from being understandable in my personal opinion. Now, this goes for anyone from the commercial user to the homeowner. I've gave this to commercial users. I've gave this to homeowners. I've taken it to them and said, hey, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. And this is the feedback. These instructions could definitely be more legible because, uh, you know, I mean, some of the, the guys I gave it to couldn't even understand it. Some of the ladies I really ain't going to understand her. All right, so how's this connect exactly? Well, it's pretty simple, I would say. Uh, if you have one of these blowers, this is mint. Now, this is, this is a nice blower. I did a review on this. I'll put that link right up here. But... Uh, <clears throat> If your blower tube um, does not fit like this one, then you're going to have to try to take one of these and put it on the end, such as this. And you can tell this fits pretty good on the end, but this is not recommended of how you do it. But if you wanted to, that is how you do it. So step one, we're going to pull this tubing off. Now, as you notice, the housing of this, the blower housing, actually sticks out. Uh, the Milwaukee's goes inside, so you're not gonna be able to use this kit specifically for the Milwaukee blower if that's what you're wanting it for. So then the next step is you find this one's too small. So then we're gonna to move to our bigger one here and we're gonna put it on. Oh yeah, that fits nice. So we've got that, we've got our strap. Take our strap and we're just going to put this around. So you're just gonna put it on and then we have a latch. Now this latch, we're gonna pull up and this is going to tighten this nozzle for us around our tubing. Next step is we have the 
flex tube. Now there are lines on these. I'll try to show you here on this camera. There are lines on these that line up and then you just simply take and you put it on and twist it. And it just twists right on. Nothing crazy. Next step is we have these tubes. Okay. Now these tubes do the exact same thing right here. So you have this extension tube and then you just do the same thing. You put it on, you screw it in, and then you connect all four of these tubes, okay? So all four of these tubes connect together. They're very easy to connect. I mean, once you, once you get them here, you just line them up and then twist, and then they will actually lock in place as well. There's little clickies around through here that kind of keep it in place. And there we go. Now it's tight. Now this right here will, uh, when you put all four together, that's where you're going to get your height. Then this is going to connect to your flex tube, and this is the very end of it right here. Twist it together, and you're ready to go. So two more extensions, hook into here, then boom, you're, you're off to the races. So the great thing about this is the, so the shoulder strap. So you know if you wanted to uh, take this somewhere and do whatever you put your shoulder strap on. Now the back of the Toro blower don't have a place for this, so you probably have to run this through first and then run it through this to keep it on here. But you know, you have a shoulder strap if you wanted to use a shoulder strap. Now, let's show you some footage of this thing in action and uh, let me know your thoughts down below of what you think about it. And when we come back, we will talk about some of my personal cons of this before we end this video. like that footage this thing really does work very very nicely but the next con I really have to this is well there's two other cons actually and one of them we go back to the directions the instruction manual it does not tell you how to do it uh, but how you get this clasp off now I will tell you if you tighten this clasp too tight you're it's a nightmare you're going to have a nightmare on your hands trying to get this off. So do not over tighten this because if you do, you're going to find out real quick what you just did. Uh, but there's two tabs. There's one on each side and all you do is press them down and it loosens up. Now, this is not in the instruction manual that I personally seen. So just the FYI, that's your first thing. Second, if you go to switch this tubing out, Say you go to switch blowers, your blower breaks down. You want to put it on a different blower and you need the smaller uh, universal collar. Well, the next thing you're probably going to run into is taking this off. Depending on how strong you are, this between here and the extensions and this and the collar can be very, very put on tight. Now, as you can tell, I am holding this pretty tight. It is bending this collar, trying to get this off, and it is not moving. So I also found that if you put it on too loose, uh, that it will try to bend and pop off. So you have to put it on a little snug, but when you go to take it apart, it's just a nightmare. 
to take apart. I mean, you can tell I am bending that and it's not moving. So keep that in mind. If I was you, I would definitely lubricate this somehow before you put it on there so you it makes it easier for you to get off. Uh, that way you can store it. If this is the only tube you're going to be using, then hey, you know what? You can take it off, leave it like this, and not have to worry about it. But just know if you plan on switching the collars out to something different, you're going to have to have help pulling this off. Or you better lube this up and pull it off right after you are done. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for this video. Comment down below. What, let me know what you think about this. Now, you can pick this kit up at Home Depot for 50 bucks, right at $49.99. Uh, so, I mean, it's a great price. It is a great piece of equipment to have or add to your arsenal, even if you're commercial, because you can do a lot of this stuff from the ground. And I will tell you, if you wanted to pull some tubing off of your blower, or even if you didn't, if you've got a helper that's helping you, you can hook this to the end of your, your backpack blower. Now, I don't know if I'd recommend it, but, and you can blow the gutters out without ever getting on the roof. Um, so, you know, there's a couple different options out there, but this one, it's totally a great for the for the homeowner or the commercial user and I really like everything about it except the three things that I told you I didn't like which was uh, the collar the and the instructions and then you know taking it apart that that flex tube so uh, that's gonna do it for this one guys thanks for watching